Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have my monthly favorites, the products that I have been loving for the past month of April. I'm super excited to be filming this because these are very like chill back, laid back videos, you know what I mean? And yeah, um, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscription button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for more monthly favorites and let's just jump right into the video. So for the month of April, I've been experimenting a lot with not only makeup, but hair products and like skincare products and food and like everything. I've just been like out there trying to like experiment with everything. So today I have makeup, obviously. I have skincare. I have um, food. Um, skincare, makeup, hair products. I have the whole shebang in this video and I'm super excited because um, I haven't done a favorites video in a long time. I think last one was March? Probably like, like the beginning of last month, I think. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, so let's just jump right into the video. Oh, I do have some candles as well that I'm gonna share with you guys first. So first of all, I just want to talk about every time I'm editing my videos here in my desk, um, I love to have a candle lit on because I love to smell um, a relaxing lavender scent. And this is what it is. This is actually the relaxing lavender scented candle by LW Home. And it's this one right here. And I actually just went to TJ Maxx and I purchased a big size of it. As you can see. If you guys, like, I'm always stressed because, like, I work full-time and, like, I do YouTube videos and, you know, I have a family, I have I, the gym, I have everything, like, going on. So every time I'm editing my videos, I love to smell this particular candle just because it smells like lavender and lavender is very relaxing to me. It just smells so, so good. I really recommend if you haven't tried this candle to go try it. It's this one right here. That's the candle that I've been loving and I think that candle I've been loving for like the past three months or so So it's been a while since that candle, but since I recently bought one I decided to talk about the candle as well. So I'm not gonna go in any order I'm just gonna like jump right into like everything I have on my desk because I have a lot of things and I feel like this is gonna be a long video So yeah first thing let's talk about the fiber one cheesecake strawberry bar and it's this one right here I recently went to go buy a box of them because I saw Maria Palafox on her Snapchat recommend them to us and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to try them because now that I'm going to the gym, I like left like chips and like sweet stuff and all of that stuff. Like I've left it behind. So I've been recently trying out these bars and they're supposed to be like healthy bars, you know, healthy bars. I, it has two grams of protein, um, they're supposed to have like fiber, and what is this? Yeah, so they have 20% of your daily fiber, um, I don't know, so they're supposed to be like healthy, and they're very sweet, so I'm not that like a sweet person, but I do crave bread and donuts all the time, so this has helped my cravings a lot, like a lot I kid you not so I recently went back to the Kylie Cosmetics the burgundy palette which is this one right here and I haven't I hadn't used it in a while and this past month I've went back to it the colors are amazing the formula is really good um, the, sh the shimmery shadows are very pigmented the brushes that I have been loving and they're all very affordable so you guys can like really get them the first one is the BH Cosmetics 114 and this is what I use to contour or bronze my face and this is um, a very slanted brush as you can see. This is what I've been loving, loving, loving. Next up, the BH Cosmetics 113 and it is what I use to, um, what do you call them? It's what I use to put my blush on, it's just a very fluffy brush. If you guys seen my Get Ready With Me videos, the featuring Corridos ones, you guys know that I've been loving the BH Cosmetics 101 to highlight. And it's just like a very tapered long brush and I feel like it just captures everything really, really nicely. So that's why I have been loving it. 
And all these brushes actually come in a set, so I'll link the set down below in case you're interested in buying the set. Next I have the Morphe E22, which is just a very tapered, long, skinny brush. And this is what I use for my crease to pack on eyeshadow. And then the Morphe R40, which is what I use to blend everything out. If you guys have seen my Get Ready videos, you guys know that I bought the travel size of the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. And I recently went to Sephora and I bought the big size of the Dr. Brandt Pores No More just because I love it so much. If you are a girl with like huge pores, and I mean literally like huge pores, you are going to love this stuff. It works well with any foundation I find. Um, it covers my pores completely around my nose area and around my cheek area. Um, it also mattifies my skin. I am combination, so I tend to get oily on my T-zone. This has been helping a lot. I really, 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 really do recommend it if you're the type of person that has huge pores and you do not know what to do with your pores anymore. I have the NYX Plush Gel Lipstick in number 12. It's just a lipstick that, it's a very like nude lipstick that I've been loving to go to the gym. Um, it's very pink, which I'm not a fan of pink, but... This is, has like nudie undertones and it's this one right here. As you can see, it's a really nice pinky nude color and it's kind of like a gloss. Like I'm not a fan of gloss, but it's not matte and it's not gloss, so it's like in between. Um, I basically just use it as like chapstick to go to the gym, so this is what I've been loving. Most of these products are also going to be on my Get Ready With Me video, so if you guys haven't watched those, I will link those videos down below so you guys can go watch them and see how the products perform in action. Um, next up is the Butter Blush in Plum Rose. If you guys saw my Get Ready With Me videos, you guys know that I do not like a blush that's pink. Like, puta pink. Like this pink. I don't like a blush that's like pink out there. I like a blush that has very mauve undertones that can complement my skin tone. And they, um, and it pairs very well with my bronzer or my contour. So it is what I'm wearing now. So you can see it's really, really nice. It's very subtle. I don't like a blush that's just like out there, out there. So this has been my go-to and I love it. We have a quad from Clinique and this is the All About Shadow Quad. And it's th these colors right here. They're just very browns. It has a highlight shade. It has a dark brown that you can use as eyeliner. It has a shimmery shadow right here. This is amazing for those of you guys that are on the go. I just want to carry something in your purse. It's just really good. Next up is the Koki Professionals Powder Contour Palette. This is the Highlight and Contour Palette by the brand Koki. If you guys do not know what Koki is, it is new at the drugstore. I purchased mine at Walmart and it's just like this. It's very similar to the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. So if you guys haven't seen my Get Ready With Me videos, I suggest you go see it. I talk a little more in depth about it and how I think um, it's the exact same thing as the Kat Von D. I talk about the formula and the shades and all of that good stuff. So go check that video out. But this is what I've been loving to contour. And I use the darker shade right here and the lightest shade in the middle. So I use these two shades. I don't really use the banana powder or the setting powders or highlighting powders. I don't use them. I know that I've said that nothing compares to my Instant H Rewind Concealer that you guys already know that I love because I probably mentioned it in like other favorites videos before, but let's just talk about the Maybelline Super Say Better Skin Camouflage Concealer that I've recently tried and I've been absolutely loving. It's very, very, very lightweight on the skin. It doesn't have a pink undertone, which is what I love because I'm like yellow based. Um, it's very lightweight, it's very pigmented, it comes in like a doe foot applicator, so it's very easy to apply. It's very blendable, it has a lot of pigment to it, but it's very lightweight. And it doesn't crease up underneath my eyes or on my fine lines around my eyes. Now that I've been wearing, I wear glosses for years, and I mean literally till the age of, I wore glasses from like the age of 7 to like the age of 20, so... I just recently got contacts and I tend to pull my eyes like on the corners like up and down so I've been getting these little like wrinkle lines on the sides of my eyes and this does not crease up on it so I've been loving this. I want to buy. I want to buy. Next up I want to talk about something that I've recently um, discovered in my storage collection. I bought this a couple months back and this is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Strip. And it's actually what I'm wearing now in the center of my lips. And this is just 
it's not matte but it's not glossy it's just like the other one that I showed you guys and this is just a very nude color with very like beigey very slightly rose undertones as you can see it's really really nice um, it's like a it's like a topper which is what I use it for like I'll put my lip liner I'll put my lipstick and then I'll just like put it in the center to kind of like brighten up um, brighten up my lips and give it like that ombre effect so I've been loving this it's really nice formula although I feel like this past month I've been discovering a lot of glosses which I'm not a fan of but I don't know I think it's because I've been going to the gym and I don't really want like that bold matte lip in the gym you know because people are gonna be looking at me like what the hell is she doing wearing all this makeup so I usually tend to go like bare face with like a lip gloss or something like that I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys the Jordana Sweet Sweet Cream Matte Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cinnamon Toast. It's what I wear every single day when I go to work and I know this is going to be like, oh my goodness, like it's so dark, but it's not this dark, I swear. This is just like a very brown mauve color. It dries out matte completely matte and I just been loving the color. It's in the shade Cinnamon Toast, and it's this one right here. Judge for yourself. It's just a beautiful, beautiful brown color. Next up, I recently purchased a lip gloss, and this is so funny because Jenny69 recommended this lip gloss on her Snapchat. If you guys follow her, you guys probably know what I'm talking about already. This is actually a dollar lip gloss, and it's by the brand Italia, and it's the Roll-On Vitamin E and Aloe Vera Lip Gloss in Watermelon, and it's this right here. I used to use this back in the day when I was like, I don't know, seven years old or something. This is just what it is, a roll-on lip gloss and it doesn't have a tint to it, it's just like a clear lip gloss, although mine's kind of dirty because sometimes I'll wear like my matte and then I'll go over it with this, but it's just a very, very glossy lip gloss as you can see. It's very sticky too, which I know when you hear the word sticky, you're like, what the hell, like it's not going to be a good lip gloss. but. I love my lip glosses to be sticky like I don't know I don't know if I'm like saying this right or like explaining this right to you guys but it's a very sticky lip gloss but it's not I don't know I just find it like it stays on my lips it's not like going anywhere you know what I mean like it's very hard to explain what I'm trying to say but just know that it's a sticky lip gloss and if you know what I mean if you like sticky lip glosses then this is for you and the next one is a lipstick by MAC. It is a matte lipstick in the shade Whirl. So you can see I'm almost out of it. And this is just like a very pretty brown, mauve pinky color. And it's this one right here. I already know that I'm going to talk about the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is a primer. It corrects. It sets. It's 16 hour wear. I do find that it helps my makeup stay in place. And I also feel like it doesn't cake up my face like most other um, sprays do. Vegas Nay Strip Lash Adhesive. It dries clear. And it's this one right here in the green bottle. I don't really know the name of it or if it like has a name I just know it looks like this if you are interested um, I find that it like I don't know like here in Vegas it's like 104 degrees and I feel like with this glue my lashes stay all day like I can play with them I can move them with my fingers and they don't go anywhere um, and you can't really see the glue either because it's clear so I really really been loving this say lauder double wear stay in place here in Vegas it's been like super super hot lately and I feel like all the foundations just slide off of my face except for this one um, this one is like water resistant it's sweat proof heat proof everything proof it's bulletproof I don't know it's just like everything proof it stays on my face it leaves it like really really flawless it leaves it flawless it's full coverage it's what I look for in a foundation so I've been loving this foundation Jordana sculpt and gold creamy contour stick which looks like this this is like $5 at Walgreens and it's such a really, really good creamy um, stick. It's very creamy. It's very affordable. It's very easy to blend. Um, I just, I've been loving this to contour and I actually need to go get a darker shade because this is in medium. So, I don't know. I just find that sculpting sticks are a little more easier and on the go than cream contour like with a brush. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? New Stila 
or Stila? Is it Stila or Stila? I think it's Stila. The new Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I have mine in Diamond Dust, but I cannot wait to go purchase the other colors because, look at this. I'm going to show you this. These are blinding. I was playing with it today and I really didn't know what to do with my eyes and it's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It's this right here. It's so blinding. Look at that. When I thought of like a glitter eyeshadow, I really thought that it was not going to like stay there, but I don't know. Look at this. Like it has the like staying power of glue. Like they're so pigmented. They're so rich in color. They're like heavy metal glitters like I don't know. I just, I fell in love with it. Free Star Cosmetics and Manny MUA Skin Frost in Eclipse, which is this one right here. Um, if you guys have not seen my review, I do have a full-on dedicated video to the collaboration, but I just want to say that this collaboration has been by far, like, my favorite of all times. Like, these lipsticks, obviously you guys know that I am in love with the Jeffree Star formula and the Skin Frost is no exception. I fell in love with it. It's not glitter based, which is what I love. I don't like my highlighters. I don't like my highlighters to be glitter based. I like them to give you that glow from within, but not glittery, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I have a full on dedicated video. I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested in watching that. But I've just been loving, loving, loving the Skin Frost. And by the way, it's the size of my face. So there you go. With some skincare products and hair care products. The first thing I want to talk about is the St. Ives Exfoliate and Nourish Apricot Oil Scrub. Yes, an oil scrub. So it's this right here. As you can see, I am almost done. I'm like down here. This is the exact same thing as the apricot scrub that you guys probably already know about. But this contains oil. So this is a high exfoliator. Um, but what I love about it is that it does not dry out my skin. It actually like exfoliates it. It leaves it feeling very moisturized and I'm all about that life because I use um, very matte foundations but I like my skin to have some moisture and to like not for it to look dry or cakey and I feel like when my skin is not moisturized it look, the foundations look very very heavy so this just I've been loving this I use it like twice a week so it really like removes my makeup it exfoliates while leaving it very very moisturized with the oil that it contains so it's this one right here is the skin active the gentle sulfate free cleanser uh, for all skin types this has no sulfates no oil no soap no alcohol no fragrance no nothing um, it's just like a wash for your face and what I love about this is that it does not leave my face feeling like I just put conditioner on my face. I hate, hate, hate that feeling. Although this right here leaves it a little bit like oily. Not, not oily, but it like feels like you have oil, which I don't mind because I only use it like twice a week. Although this, I use it every single day and it's this right here. I'll go ahead and like... It's the Skin Garnier... Um, I believe this is new too because it does say that it's new and this is what I've been using um, it just removes my makeup without like drying out my skin but without leaving it like I just put conditioner on my face you know what I mean I think you know what I mean brush right here which I know it kind of like sounds kind of weird that I'm talking about a brush but this is what I use my exfoliator with and my wash and this removes all the makeup that my wipey did not remove it just it leaves my skin like this deep cleans your pores like this will like deep clean your pores it will like remove any makeup that you have forgotten with the white bee or anything of that sort I'm going to talk about the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel which is this right here with Hyaluronic Acid and SPF 15 this I use every single day when I get out of the shower I will put some all over my face because I don't know, I just, I love the feeling that it's like a gel consistency. Here, I'll just kind of show you guys. It has like a gel consistency to it, but it's very refreshing, it's very moisturizing. It doesn't leave me like feeling oily or like heavy. It just moisturizes my skin while I believe it has like skin benefits because it has hyaluronic acid which is what we produce so I recently bought a new one because I found it at TJ Maxx 
but I really, 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 really been loving this as a daily moisturizer. So this is actually a little more oily for me, for my taste. It's a little more oily, but I feel like if you're a dry skin girl, you will absolutely love this. This is the Pond's Cream in Rejuvenes Dia Visilmente Menos Arrugas. It's this one right here, and it's supposed to be for like wrinkles. It's supposed to be for like wrinkles, and it's supposed to be like a day cream for wrinkles or something like that, but... Honestly, I do have like wrinkles on like my smile lines and I have like wrinkles right here because of my contacts. I honestly do not know if this helps my wrinkles. If it is helping my wrinkles, yay, hello, good, right? But if it's not helping my wrinkles, I honestly don't even mind because I love it because it's very, it, this is like a heavy duty moisturizer. At night, I will put the Hydro Boost water gel and then on top of that, I will put some of this. And then I I just like let it sit on my face and it like sinks up into my skin. Like I don't know what it is, but like after like 10 minutes, my skin does not feel oily no more. But it feels very, very, very hydrated, very moisturized. It feels very healthy. I don't know. I've never been the type of girl to like experiment with skincare stuff. I've recently just like you know gotten into the bandwagon of all of this. Like before, I would never remove my makeup at night. Um, I know I have that somewhere in a video, like 50 facts about me or something like that. Um, I've, I've, I had never removed my makeup at night. And I've noticed serious, serious different in my skin from before because I've been using like all these cleansers and like exfoliators and like moisturizers and all of this stuff. So I have been noticing a difference, although this is basically like my skincare routine. Don't think that I use like a million plus one products. I just use an exfoliator, a cleanser, a lotion, and a moisturizer, which is basically it. So I don't really have a lot of like skincare stuff, you know? Like most people have like like a whole routine dedicated to it. I honestly, my routine is like the most simplest skincare routine that I have seen on YouTube. Like compared to what I have seen on YouTube, my skincare routine is literally like the simplest ever. Hair care products, obviously. I want to talk about the Maui Moisture Nourish plus moisture coconut milk oil mist for dry hair and it's this right here this is like made with 100% aloe extract it has no mineral oil no silicones no parabens no gluten no SLS no nothing it's vegan it's eco-friendly it's pure coconut oil and pure aloe juice um, that was like a long ass description of this product but I just want to talk about this really really quickly because I've been loving it and I haven't been trying it for a month. Like this I've had like for a week and a half and I'm already like down to here as you can tell. But I've been loving it because my hair has been really really damaged the past few months and I don't know what it is but I feel like this brought my hair like back to life. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It brought my hair back to life because I get out of the shower and my hair is very brittle, is very dry, and I recently like sprayed this all over my hair and then I would blow dry it and then um, my hair feels very, very moisturized, it's, it's silky, it's shiny, it looks healthy and I think it's because of this. So I gotta give thanks to this product because my hair has never been like feeling healthy or it's never like... You've never seen my hair healthy or nothing like that until this came into my life. So if you have very, very dry, brittled hair, I really recommend this right here. I've been using, which I'm almost out of, is the Matrix Total Res Results Miracle Creator with 20 benefits. And it's this right here. This was $16 actually. It was not that expensive. And I've been spraying this to like detangle my hair, but it's also for like... It has like 20 benefits, I don't know, it's like, it smooths your hair, it prevents prevents heat damage, it helps fight frizz, it's like, I don't know, it has like all this shit, I really don't know, like, I don't know, it's just supposed to like help my hair and it's what I've been using and I've been loving it because if your hair is like really dry and very damaged, you know that it's very hard to comb, so I've been loving this to detangle my hair. It also has like other benefits, but... I'm going to talk about the Puff Me Volumizing Cloud Mist. What? That's what it says. What? 
So it's this right here, and this is the Puff Me. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. My hairstylist recently, um, when I went to go dye my hair, which I'm actually going to go dye my hair next week, but when I went to go dye my hair, she recommended this for me. I told her that I have no volume, my hair is very like flat, and she said, I have something for you that's going to help your hair. Um, it has like that teasing effect, like when you tease it, it gives you that volume, but without the tease, you know what I mean? So this, you would just like, you just like part, like right here, like you would just like part your hair to like where you would tease it, and you would just spray this, and it's like a white powder, but it doesn't leave a white cast. It like it completely like disappears, and you just shake it up a little bit, and your hair goes from this to boom, this. I swear. So if you have very like dry, very thin hair, and you need some volume in your hair, I really, 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 really recommend this. I think you will love, love, love this product. It's like, it's just an amazing product to like volumize your hair and give it that foof. You know what I mean? But I've been wearing like nonstop. And they're just these booty heels that look like this. It has like a medium, very thick um, heel. It has a strap on the back. And in the front, it's just, they're very short. As you can see, they're not that tall. Um, they're opened and they have this strap right down the middle. I wear these with jeans. I'll wear these with um, a dress, with shorts, with anything. And I feel like they go perfectly. And I feel like now that... Um, summer is coming. I think that would be perfect for that. It's what I've been wearing. It's what I've been loving. So April favorites video. I know this video is going to be really, really long. So I'm just going to like stop here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites videos. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe in the link below. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.